Hello and welcome back to our KSP career. I'm your host Groundforks and in previous episode we have accumulated 307 science and today yes we're gonna spend it. The first item I will spend on space exploration namely because I want the ladders and I want the EVA jetpack because those things have been hindering us from obtaining more science on Minmus. Yes, and we will be going to Minmus and Moon. However, we, I want to first unlock the science that will allow me to do some EVA, some EVA experiments, jetpack a little bit rather than hanging dearly to the latches. Right, so that's the first item of science. That went quite swimmingly. The second one I'm thinking of uh, using was the advanced electrics. Or actually, no, wait, no. Precision engineering, I think, because those have some antennas that I need. Some of the relays here, although those are not really that interesting, I'm looking for a much bigger relay antennas. If we scroll down, I'm looking for, yes, this relay, Communitron, which is direct antenna, which will allow us to transfer data from Minus, and our A2 relay antenna, because that one we will use for the future communications network that we will be deploying in polar orbit, of course. Right, and with that thing being said, the last but not the least point that we want to do today, because that one will define the course of our today path, will be the aviation, yes. As you saw probably from the title and thumbnail, we will be building the plane today and we will test it. Because I think after a couple of space missions, it's only fair that we invest something into planes. And with that thing being said, I'm investing my upgrades heavily into the ACE space plane hangar because that one will need to be able to build planes and space planes at some decent rate. So that's kind of my thoughts anyway. So right now we have three tech, space exploration, aviation, and precision engineering that's gonna unlock. But one that's, that that unlocks, we are going straight into the build mode. I have skipped it for your convenience, as you can tell, and I'm accelerating a little bit the build mode for our plane. It's gonna be a really simple plane with a cargo bay, which will in hold all the exp imported experiments, as well as some uh, materials bay, which obviously is a little bit bigger-ish, two mystery good containers, I'm actually thinking, guys, you are playing with Kerbalism, do I really need two mystery good containers? Because I think it, I'm only duplicating the bloody experiments. I am sure uh, uh, the data storage depends on the data available. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if I am getting this wrong. Because previously, when we had two mystery good experiments, we could run two mystery good experiments. Nowadays, I have a feeling it's only one and then just enlarge it. I don't know. Let me know. Okay, experiment storage unit I cannot, but I can increase the sample capacity of the pod, which will hold some experiments for sure. Then we can have, uh, I'm thinking of putting an antenna and communitron. I'm actually going to stick just this one on top here. Ish. Good. It's good enough so it can transfer. I don't need it to be much fancier than that. Then we're going to be placing two small M Mark Zero liquid fuselages with the appropriate nose cone and the engine, which is the tiny one at the back. I'm actually thinking uh, those will be the two engines that will be powering this craft. Then we'll be placing the tail fin here. There we go. I'm actually maybe thinking, could I move those a little bit further out? Never mind. Let's first put in the wings so that we make sure that we have the wings coverage. There we go. I want to disable your immediately on the control surfaces and enable it only on the tail fin. And then we are talking, oh, I want to put gyroscopes in case we want to have, you know, the stability enhanced. So that's good. I'm going to call it plane, small exploration plane, not yeah, sorry. Small Explorer 1. That's what we're going to call it, and I'm sticking with it. Winglet, let's turn off the yaws. There we go. Sorry for those. Um, yeah, apparently at my seaside people are very fancy and using Vespas. I don't know what's wrong with that, but, you know, everything. All right. Balancing act a little bit. Forward, back, antennas, whatnot. Look, uh, center of lift is behind the center of mass, which is good for planes, makes them stable, makes them good enough. Auto strut everything to the heaviest part. 
there we go and then i want to be placing how to say the landing system and by landing system i don't mean the wheels i mean the parachutes because yeah honestly i've been using these small wheels a lot i don't trust them for one instant so i'm gonna have them and they're gonna be called the takeoff system when it comes to landing I don't know, if I'm feeling particularly courageous, I'm going to use them for landing. Otherwise, I'm kind of leaning towards not doing it, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Let's give it a try. I'm, I'm a little bit sorry for the nighttime test, but this is only a simulation test, so it's going to be rather quick and straightforward, I hope. There we go. Let's see it taking off and... Uh, the runway seems to be good, the part count seems to be decent, and we can actually do it. So let's see, take off, can we do it? A little bit, bump, 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 come on, get up there. Okay, it does take off with a thrust weight of 0 0.78, with total 100, 900 seconds to burn. I think that's plenty. Let's just test a little bit maneuvering skills. Can it turn, can it go around? I'm just thinking I'm gonna try and land back on the third runway I took off from because that should be enough. The goal for the today's episode is to get to the island airfield, but if I did everything when the simulation is done, what would be the fun in that? Okay, I'm gonna go and now, as you can see, we are turning around and I'm gonna try to land this thing. Hopefully, it will look nice. I also might, maybe even will skip that part, but uh, We'll see. If you see the next uh, couple of seconds skipped, that means that I've skipped it, but I don't think so. We're going towards the runway and let's see if we have the landings. Clearly, this uh, thing doesn't have brakes. And by brakes, I mean the air brakes. Okay, so let's see. I mean, how reliable the landing legs are. Okay. Dorothy, I completely agree with your facial expression here. Okay, I'm just trying to bleed off enough airspeed so that Dorothy here can make a nice smooth touchdown. Probably it's gonna be on the grassy surface, I don't really care, as long as it's nice and really, really smooth. All right, I considered it a successful test. What we're gonna do, we're gonna build it, sure. Now, that being said, I have also unlocked some uh, R2 relay antenna and I'm gonna take my ComSat deployer and I'm gonna modify it slightly. These two antennas are going away, the communitron is going on the side, the engineer has to be there but it's going on the side and the two R2 relay antennas are placed there. Am I happy with it? Perfectly happy. Happy as a doorknob because the generation and power generation and power consumption should be okay and they should go up to 200 million meters which means they should be covering Minmus with no problemo. Right, that being said I am looking where is the EVA um, jetpack so I can add it to, to Dorothy over here so that she has it. Oh there we go, good. Now it's added and uh, it will be so Dorothy will have it on her and maybe we'll just not gonna take somebody else. But time for our flight. Yes, as you can tell, I've cut quite a few things uh, from the episode, but they're all standard things that you're looking at anyway. However, there is takeoff and the small modification that they made, I added two small solar panels on top of the engines just to provide the perpetual and electricity. And let's take off. Oop, 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 oop. Come on, there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, look at it go. A small plane that could. I think this is a worthy of a screenshot for the episode because we don't know what's gonna happen later. Right, okay, as I said, target is the island runway. So let's turn towards the island runway and I'm not gonna go directly for it because I want to be aligned with the runway island runway when landing so I'm gonna go you know sideways and then I'm gonna be activating the navigation just to make sure that we are heading towards the correct runway although I mean seriously I'm looking at it yeah right 
Oh, 206, 70 meters per second. Will we break the sound barrier or will we will just stretch it a little bit? Uh, yeah, and as you can see with the activated uh, navigation, we will be there in 1 minute and 15 seconds. So we will be there very shortly. That means, okay, I should probably decrease the thrust a little bit. Let's say, I don't know, 0%. Yeah, decent. And then I'm going to be lining up for the landing. We have enough altitude to bleed off. We have enough surface air speed, so we are going for the landing. There we go. This is going to be fun. And scares the crap out of me, but that's a topic for a later discussion, I guess. All right. So, lining ever so carefully. ETA to Island Airfield is so bright that I cannot even read it. Probably one minute-ish. 55 seconds, that's good enough. As you can tell, the engine is almost to idle. And I'm gonna be extending the flaps. Sooner rather than later, we're going 230 meters per second. We're going too fast. Flaps activate so that we have a nice soft landing, hopefully. We don't need to deflect more. We are good. Surface speed is being bled as we speak. Just not at sufficient enough rate. Okay, but you know what? I'm Once I come close, I'm going to soar up into the skies and then hopefully perform a nice smooth touchdown. Okay, we are nicely lined up, getting ready. All right. Almost there. Now, guys, the moment of truth. Let's go down. Come on, come on. Deploy the chutes. Ha ha. I said I'm going to be performing the smooth touchdown. And remember, I never said I was going to use the regular aerodynamic forces for it. Yes, parachutes are perfectly capable. Okay, shut down one engine. Shut down the second engine. And I think we are good, actually. Nice, smooth, boink, touchdown. That's how I land a yo-yo, huh? Not bad for an honest day's work. All right, now comes the important part. Experiments. Yes, we want to be performing all the experiments that we can first. So let's see, uh, atmospheric sand radiation scan material study, please kick it into high gear. Thank you. Mystery goo observation is being run or expanded a little bit. Crew report, there are some seconds to it, so we are gonna time accelerate it. Temperature scan sadly doesn't want to be scanning from the island airfield, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry, you were saying, Catherine? Okay, uh, batteries are almost empty. We are squeezing last bit of juice. Why would that be? I mean, I have the sun. Okay, maybe experiments are drawing a little bit. Okay, the material study is continuing. And okay, it's done. Perfect. That means I'm going to stop the time acceleration, pull on the brake, and get Catherine to go on an EVA. What do you say, Catherine? Uh, you can let go now. Thank you. There you go. Catherine walking ever so gently. Mind the nose tip. Yeah. Can you please also do a collect a surface sample and an EVA report? Thank you. I really would like to record your observations. So basically, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Would you like some snacks and um, whatnot, you know? And this could be as well screeny for the today's episode, but since it's all going to be a kind of spoiler territory, what would be fun in that now, would it? All right, Catherine. Now, with that thing being said, what? You have something on your hands? Is it goo? <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not goo. Come on. Yeah, I was just making fun of you. Sorry there, Catherine. Anyway, she her experiments are running and she's going to have surface sample for us within the next 15 seconds And then might as well, you know, we've never planted a flag. Yes. Oh, you need to burp. Okay, good You're doing EVA good. Yes Yeah, you don't really need a spacesuit and an EVA jetpack, but Doesn't matter. 
Let's plant a flag, shall we? So that we know that the island airfield is conquered. I'm sad that I have never placed the flags on Minmus because that was kind of our first landing and it was on an alien planet or sorry, alien moon. However, what can you do? If I have done that, there would be a very little chance of getting our Kerbals back without some rescue operation and even getting our Kerbals back to their rocket. So yeah, you know, what can you do? That's why we are unlocking the exploration module so one, that we can do uh, all the EVA cool stuff and maybe deploy some ground experiments and whatnot from the breaking ground expansion. Right. Okay, Catherine, uh, please get back inside and then we're gonna go with the regular, you know, craft recovery. Is anything else of the d experiment still running? I don't think so, which means we can go to recover the vessel. Normal recovery. And there we go, a total of 14 credits and 23 science gained. We are now at 37, but I think that should be sufficing enough. And Catherine got some nice ribbons. First flying on Kerbin ribbon. Perfect. You know, guys, I think it's a good place as any to wrap it up for the today's episode. So you know what to do. As always, hit that like button. It really helps me out a great deal. Press subscribe if you want to be notified of the next uh, you know, episode that it comes. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.